as we are underway here in Miami. And Span's going to take it out. And special teams coverage from the dogs is going to trip him up near the 10 yard line. The good news is they have the offensive line intact as Glenn gets it complete right at that line to gain. Kendall Milton able to break a tackle, lower the shoulder, and go ahead for eight yards. Tackled by Thomas. Well, five starters in the front seven are not playing in this game, so they're going to test them early. And they do it with tempo. And Milton goes straight ahead, breaks another tackle, and keeps his footing out past the 40-yard line. Yeah, the zone run is the bread and butter run for the Georgia Bulldogs. And the ball, they're climbing and getting into the second level, hats on hats. And this Kendall Milton at 6'1", 220, he is a load to bring down, especially. If Back goes over the middle, gets a complete love it. Pass midfield and yards after the catch. First down, Georgia. In this bowl game especially, you'd love to see them maybe open it up a little bit. Mastromano taking his time, allowing the coverage to get down the field. Anthony Evans, the true freshman return man from the 13-yard line. And he's going to get a good return out to the 30. Second and 10. Beck with time. And he goes on a deep crosser to Rosemey Jack Saints, complete for a first down. And when he throws on rhythm, boy, it looks special. Quick to the line. Edwards gets free inside the 20 and kept his balance to get to the 15-yard line. Well, call in place. You're getting the line of scrimmage early and handing it off to Edwards, who's got a little bit more wiggle and a little bit. After Edwards went for 17. Here's Milton inside the 10 and right to the end zone. Kendall Milton. Dominic Levitt coming this way is going to fake, and it's going to freeze Byron Turner that way. And it opens up a huge crease for Milton to cut back. He starts it to the left. You see Turner's just frozen, and there's just green grass. Second and seven, Edwards gets that seal block on the outside, lowers the shoulders, leg drive, gets it out past the 30 for another first down for the dog. Got to be able to seal it in order to get this thing outside. They've got big athletic bodies up front. We talked about them liking the zone running game in that scheme. Top 10 passing defense in the country is Florida State. Second and 10, Beck hooks up with McConkie, and here goes Lad McConkie. As we've seen so many times through the years, his ability with quick feet in the open field. Because Kalen Deloach at linebacker number four, he's racing to try to get that interception. Great timing on the throw by Beck. 22 yards with McConkie and Milton. Oof. Look at Kendall Milton go! Chugging along inside the 10 and gives a little at the five. Only a freshman, he's up top here. He's got to make this play in the hole, and he found out it's it's a lot easier said than done. A 43-yard run for Kendall Milton. Milton right into the end zone. His second of the day. Just really good push. It's not just the offensive line up front. Van Pranet at center gets a nice block, but it's also Oscar Delp at tight end here on the outside. Watch him just collapse. They just get a lot of movement. There's a lot of Garnet jerseys going backwards right now in the run game, and the Bulldogs averaging about 10 yards a carry early in this one. A lot of talent to help energize that defense. Brock Glenn, quarterback for the Knolls, only has two completions to this point. He is being chased down here, goes downfield, and there's completion number three as he hooks up with Kentron Portier. And hopefully for Florida State, that bubbles up some confidence with the young Brock Glenn. Play action here with time. You talk about confidence, he wants a shot, and he gets it! What a play by Portier! Hop with three receiver Portier, an opportunity to use all of that wingspan to bring that one in. You know Portier last year averaged 20 yards a catch. He was the star of the spring, but injuries have kept him off the field this year, and here he is with... Fitzgerald comes on for the short field goal attempt. He's had an excellent year, 18 of 20, as he gets the Knolls on the board. 14 yards to Dell. 
Back again with time. Downfield shot and uh, into the hands of Dylan Bell. He has emerged as a big time contributor this season. Edwards untouched until he was nine yards downfield. Edwards, this is getting too easy for the Georgia running game. Straight ahead into the end zone. To three, Georgia. Three rushing touchdowns. And span on the return. Taken down. Ball is out. And Georgia has recovered. That is Spear on special team. Two that runs right down the middle of the field, right there, and gets the hit. Popping the ball loose, and a huge turnover for the Bulldogs here on special teams. Adding insult to injury after marching down the field, scoring a touchdown, now setting up Carson Beck inside the 30-yard line. Fumble recovery for Georgia this season. McConkie. And he's going to weave his way into open space. Look at this from Lad McConkie. My, oh, my. And they go with Williamson, who reaches out and is able to move the chains. Jalen Walker with the tackle. Glenn on first down with time. Batted right in his face. This guy is punt, pass, and kick to the max. Second and seven. Milton, look at this hole as Kendall Milton is out past midfield. Beck's going to go to his tight end, Delp. Delp untouched inside the 20 and down to the 15 yard line. It's over years now with Kirby Smart. He split out two by two as Edwards. They come back with Smith, and Smith is going to trot right in. On the inside wide receiver screen, Arian Smith with a 12-yard touchdown. So over Southwest Florida, we're here in Miami Gardens. Third down in 10, Glenn. And this time he does get it complete to Williamson, who marches upfield for extra yardage. It's their longest drive of the day, their 11th play, third and 10. Oh, he's sacked and stripped. And Williams picks it up. A penalty marker is down as they just caved in on Brock Glenn and got the ball. Well, my on Glenn. Personal foul, illegal low block, offense number 26. That penalty's declined. Resolve the play as a first down. Back on second down. As Bell fights for it and gets it. Another great play by Dylan Bell. They're looking to add seven points more. Sprint right for Beck. To the end zone he goes, and he's able to find love it for the score. Young players on the field. Experience. I'm giving it to the young guys. Final play of this first half. As it is intercepted. Malachi Starks, the first team All-America with the pickoff. Gunner Stockton in at quarterback to start this second half. And he will run the ball to get things going. The redshirt freshman, who's six of nine passing for 52 yards on the season. Brock entered the transfer portal. He's going to be playing in the SEC for Kentucky next year. Stockton on first down as he gets it to Edwards this time and Edwards already past midfield and still going down breaking through weak arm tackles as he continues downfield finally Hussey Payton and his long arms right in front of him kind of a jump pass you know, it's not the most accurate throw really nice catch by Edwards and he's able to turn that thing north but you're already see find himself in a position next year if something were to happen to Beck they need him Stockton Whew. high but caught Roseme Jack Saint at six foot two. 
Edwards right behind Micah Morris. You got the road grader paving the way, and Dejon Edwards has his second touchdown of the day. Fullback, the guy I've been impressed with blocking in this game has been Oscar Delp, Joe. We've seen him a couple times. That time working against Gilbert Edmond, the transfer from South Carolina. Holmes again as he falls forward. Stockton, just a pitch and catch to Sperlin, and Sperlin is long striding down the sideline. And Jess, you sit here, five and a half minutes to go in the third. You went for over 200 yards. Been seeing Gunnar Stockton here in this second half. Second and seven, Stockton feeling pressure, but escapes it. Gives a stiff arm, and it'll be third and short, but you get a look at the athleticism of the redshirt freshman yep. backup quarterback. Empty look for Stockton. Stockton designed quarterback run breaks free inside the 10 and it will be first and goal Georgia as they look to go over 50 points today and also to the right side now cash Jones the running back Stockton and he's going to cash in to Lawson lucky a freshman tight end who has a bright future very impressive For seven he's just working the DB holding holding then he releases and he gets to the flat. This has been a true freshman fest, by the way, on this yep. entire drive, right? Gunner St you got Gunner Stockton doing a great job, the freshman. Here's Glenn of play action. Downfield pass into coverage, and that ball is picked off by Dalen Everett. Everett, the very long and fast cornerback who has gained a lot of experience this year because the other quarterbacks stay away from Lassiter. <laughs> Start of the fourth quarter. Robinson getting extended playing time and showing you what he's all about. Great years. Going to be tough next year. But I'll tell you, they've got the talent to do it. Cash Jones able to bounce it to the outside. Utilize the blockers. Keep his balance and a first down. Being back. And maybe the mockery of that could be going away in the course of the next week and a half. To the end zone. And that is hauled in for a touchdown. Anthony Evans. Moments ago, Jesse, I turned to you and said, are we going to see 60? Well, look at the scoreboard, folks. Well, peaking and playing his best football at the end of the year. As they go, the ball is out with the jet motion there and the struggle to make the handoff to Williamson. Playoff that's over rewarding conference champions, giving them an automatic one through four and an automatic Whoa. win as Muschamp Whoa. goes ahead. Hey, I want to see that smile out of dad. Looking like dad. Look at dad. Boom, Muschamp on the sideline. He's like his Will. teammates back. He's saying, that's my son out there, Brad folks. Conkey's out there tackling <laughs> dad. I give thanks to you, Jesse, and you, Katie, for being great partners, and Scott Matthews and Jeff Evers, who lead this crew. Outstanding job each and every week on ABC and ESPN. Wonderful to be with you guys. Oh, it's great being. It's been a gift. Thank you for all the espressos yeah. as well. I've had one in my hand the entire <laughs> fourth quarter. You're by working the way. on your fourth espresso. 63 to three will do that to you. But this is the largest margin, Jesse, in Capital One Orange Bowl history. 60-point win. The largest margin of victory in a bowl game by any team, topping their own record. Six hundred and seventy three total yards of offense. That is an Orange Bowl record.